Hello again all of you beautiful people and welcome to one of the other chakras, the 12 chakra system we're working on. We are working on the Hara or the navel chakra today and this is located in between the solar plexus and the sacral. So we're just going to activate that and bring some awareness into it and then we will move down to the earth star chakra in the next video and then up to the causal behind your head and the soul star and the stellar gateway so these are called transpersonal chakras from the 12 chakra system now there are a number of different chakra systems. This 12 chakra system is mainly um, very new age. We use it in angelic Reiki, but you will find slightly different variants. So this is the system that I am working on. And if you're an angelic Reiki student of mine, you will recognize this. So the earth star, the root, the sacral, the hara, or the Dantian, known as in Qigong, Qigong um, or Tai Chi Chuan, Tai Chi. This is a Chinese system. So the Chinese will use this as the lower Dantian or Tantian. And they will move up to the heart, the middle Dantian. And then they will move up to the Yin Tang point. And you have heard me talk about these in Celtic Reiki. So we go from the Hara, then solar, heart, throat, third eye, soul, crown, sorry, causal behind your head, about here, soul star, stellar gateway. So we are here today in your body, okay? So let us ground in a very different way today and we are going to just imagine two streams of light one of yin and one of yang and they enter at your heart center and they swirl they rotate and then they come up out and below you keeping you in a, a stream a light being a light beam if you like so you are in the middle here just suspended in this light beam and you feel that it's holding you and attaching you to the divine light, the omnipresent and the center of the earth. And indeed that stream of light can go through the center of the earth and out the other side so that you are in fact aligned with the infinite multiverse because they can just travel and travel and travel, can't they? We would call this in angelic Reiki, the Antakarana, the light tube, okay. So we've grounded in that way. I'm gonna place my hands on your shoulders just so that you can feel a little bit more grounding. And then we are going to protect. So imagining that candle flame at the center of your being perhaps where your solar plexus is or your heart, all of that sort of middle area of you. And then I want you to grow that candle flame. So you're gonna grow it and glow it to the right and the left of you, to the front and the back of you, to above and below you, pushing out all of those emotions and thoughts and bad moods that reside in yourself but are also not yours okay pushing it outwards and upwards creating a ball of fire energy around you impenetrable to anything or anyone you do not invite into you okay breathe out well done I'm going to spray you with a mixture of star anise and lang lang just to elevate your aura. And I'm just going to play some 
sound bowl. So we're going to have gongs just for a little bit. Just let the noise filter through your aura. Further clearing you and lifting you up into a relaxed state of mind. So I'm going to give you a pair of yin and yang stones for you to hold. I'm just going to hold them either side of you. Put your hands on your lap. Hold those stones that you are well balanced. And now bring your awareness to just below your solar plexus. Probably right where your belly button is, your navel. And I want you to imagine it as a beautiful orangey yellow translucent light like this carnelian we're going to start clearing that now and another crystal we can use is tiger's eye tiger's iron so i'm going to use this carnelian pyramid to clear and carnelian can be blue as well or clearish okay so I'm just going to hold the energy here and I'm going to start rotating as I talk clearing this lower dantian and this is usually developed more in people who do tai chi or qigong martial arts and it helps with your digestion it is aligned with your kidneys and absorption of food and it will give you physical sustenance it will help with your digestion and your metabolism it is a key area for weight loss and it will bring this activation that we're going to do will bring light into this area. Okay. This is where you manifest your own inner energy, your own inner chi. Okay. So I'd like you to tell me which one of these stones that I'm going to use today you prefer whether it's the carnelian or whether it's the tiger's eye. And this is a very beautiful piece of tiger's eye. It actually has the steps of a pyramid in it, but it's also got a lot of shady bits of hematite. Okay, so let's continue. Pulling the energy, the dustiness, the stagnant chi out of your hara, the lower dantian. And I'm very sorry, but Yippee and Yappy next door are barking like crazy. Maybe a delivery is coming. Pulling that energy out. Clearing lower dantian, the navel chakra, the hara chakra. 
I personally call it a lower Dantian Kathai practice Tai Chi. Drawing it out, clearing it to help with your digestion and your energy levels. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to draw the Say Hey Key into it. This one is going to be more ASMR because it's actually level with the screen. A lot of these other transpersonal chakras that we're going to work on in this group of visualizations are going to be above and below the screen. But these... So I want you now to think of your digestive system. I want you to think of your colon. From your stomach, your colon. And I'm going to just bring some white light around. And it's like a almost like a square your colon mine actually ruptured and I ended up in hospital had to have it repaired okay and I'm just gonna sweep away now gently clearing let's use both of these together and see how that works might not feel it, they might cloud each other over. So just because you can do these visualizations to aid your digestion, you've got to actually put it into practice yourself. It's no good just sitting there and being passive and accepting healing if you're not going to change your life. And I would recommend anyone try Qigong or Tai Chi. It really got me feeling energy again after my guide stopped me feeling energy because they wanted me to work with my mind. And wow, did it give me health benefits. I actually gained so much energy that I had to start running with my dog because I just started practicing it off a video. I didn't go to proper lessons until perhaps six months later um, but I will put the names of the two Qigong groups of Chinese exercise that I have done which you can find on YouTube and I do it every single morning without fail okay now we're going to bring energy in towards you and I'm going to use two different pieces of carnelian and tiger's eye so i'm going to first of all i'm going to draw a gold letter of the chakra to activate it and then i am just going to point the point of this beautiful piece and rotate it and if it looks like i'm rotating anti-clockwise in the video don't worry because it is clockwise as i'm doing it and the universe and the guides will know that okay breathe out and i want you to make a pledge to yourself that i am going to eat better this year i am going to eat I'm going to eat better. I'm going to drink better. I'm going to drink better. I'm going to drink better. Okay. I'm going to draw a master symbol over that. And then I'm just going to pick up the tiger's iron. Okay, and show you what it looks like. And spiral that energy. And even though this opens things up, I feel that because it's got the hematite in it, 
that it actually does bring these metaphysical healings earth side into the physical body. Spiraling the light codes and the crystal energies in. Helping you to improve your metabolism, especially if you're an office job worker or you're sitting at home all the time. You need to get up and do things. Make sure you go for that walk. Make sure you go and have a look at that tree. Even just if you walk around your neighbourhood, you need to get out, you need to do energy work. Get the endorphins flowing around your body and your bloodstream. Okay. Okay. Now, we mentioned the kidneys. The kidneys and the adrenals. And I'm just going to tell you what my Tai Chi teacher told us to do in winter. The urine in winter stays in the kidneys a little bit longer than in summer. And that is because the adrenals, which are just below the kidneys at the back, rub here. Rub for about four minutes each day and warm it up so that that urine doesn't stay in the kidney and swell the kidney up. Okay, now I'm going to just channel energy and light into your lower dantian. So I just want you to feel that at your navel. Just below your navel as well. And a little bit above it and I'm spiraling that in. And closer and closer, bringing in and helping it light up so that you can activate your own inner chi, your qigong, your central chi. Okay, it's not going to come from anywhere else. It's going to be you manifesting it. So you are going to have to get proactive. Okay. So when, if you are sitting at a computer all day at home, when you have that lunch break, you go and take a 20 minute walk outside or walk around your garden, something like that. Maybe doing these exercises and I'm going to post the Chinese name of them in the show notes. They are called the Ba Duan Jin and the Wu Qin Qi. The eight pieces of brocade and the five animal frolics. And you'll have to search down the YouTube video list for one that you like to do because there are lots of versions of it. And this is a set of exercises. The Baduan Jin is a lot easier to start with. I would suggest you start with that. So I will list that first. It's very easy. It's just sort of exercises like that. Shooting an arrow, standing in a certain kind of stance. Rotating the wise old owl. Okay, they're nice and easy. And they bring energy in. Okay. And the Chinese government, as I was saying, teach these to all school children. They make them get up. Most kids that don't live in the cities go to boarding school. And I know this because my nephew taught at one. And they all get up in the morning and they all learn these. And the government knows that this keeps people fit because they've been doing them for thousands of years. And it is preventative medicine. Okay. It goes alongside the Western medicine, but some Tai Chi masters have healed themselves just by doing a certain exercise that they know they need. And it keeps you supple, it helps all the pressure points, and 
people in our classes, some of them had really debilitating illnesses and they swore that these classes and exercise systems help them move, help them function. If you are someone who can't sit and meditate, I can't. I just do Tai Chi or Qigong. I lose my mind in that and it has the same effect. I go through stages where I'm great at meditating and visualising And I go through stages where I just can't concentrate. I've got that flitty monkey mind just like everyone else. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to draw the master symbol on your Hara chakra, the Dantian. And I'm going to just imagine that we are sealing that in gold. Breathe out for me. Okay. I'm just going to ask my guides if there's anything else I need to put in this informational video. They just want me to hold the energy at the sides just for a minute or two. Okay. So I'm just visualizing your Dantian as a beautiful, glowing, orangey red light now. You know, a little bit like the sun on the Japanese flag. That is your central energy place. Okay, where you create your own dynamic energy helps with your digestion as we've said and even weight loss okay breathe out again okay I'm just going to place my hands on the shoulders and I want you just to imagine roots growing down your body from your shoulders and down past your hips and knees And down through your feet into the ground below you. Downwards and downwards and downwards. Okay, thank you for watching. And look out for the next one, which will be the causal behind your head tomorrow. Bye-bye.